there's one thing that every esports fan can appreciate the comeback. There's nothing quite like it. The incredible skill, the impossible odds, and the sheer unadulterated hype. But not all comebacks are created equal, which is why we decided to count down the top 10, taking into account how hard the comeback was, how much it mattered in the grand scheme of the tournament, and how crazy it was to watch. So sit back, relax, and get those buybacks ready, because we are counting down the top 10 comebacks in the history of esports. In esports, there are few moments that transcend games, change them, and define them. But there are even fewer that are as influential and iconic as EVO Moment 37, and it's coming in at number 10 on our list. In the Street Fighter 3 Losers Finals at EVO 2004, Daigo Umehara met Justin Wong in a match everyone was waiting for. And it was there, with his back against the wall, that Daigo pulled off one of the greatest comebacks ever and made his mark in history. Daigo did the impossible, defying the odds with just a pixel of health. The play stands as an incredible display of skill and ability to act under pressure, producing one of the first esports moments to truly go viral. At number 9 is one of early League of Legends' most incredible plays, the Ex Peke. In the group stage at IEM Katowice 2013, fans were treated to a matchup of Europe's best, SK Gaming versus Fnatic. And there is Cyanide actually going to get rooted down, knocked up as well. Can they finish off the kill? Peke going very low. Elise going to get in there. Brilliant route, but is he enough to save them? Elise mops at once, so has now in all kinds of trouble at the top, being chased by Candy Panda. Red buff on him, and he's not going to escape that one. It turns out very, very nicely for SK Gaming there. As the game went on, the teams traded blows, but eventually SK capitalized off of a pivotal team fight and looked to close out the game. They thought it was all over. Turns out, they were right. And they're just gonna pile straight up towards those super minions in the base. You can see there's coming in there. Peke is definitely up towards the Nexus. Kevin is gonna oh be able to go towards God. him. He's trying to do it. But meanwhile, they're doing the base. Yellow Star's trying to defend them in the base. Peke is trying to take the Nexus down. Is anyone gonna be able to deal with this one? Catches him with another axe. He's very low. No! Xpeke took the game into his own hands and made the decision to backdoor. That decision single-handedly won Fnatic the game and turned Xpeke into a star. Our number eight entry comes from a classic matchup between two of Tekken's best, and it doesn't get much closer than this. JDCR and Naroma are two of the best Tekken players in the world, but you wouldn't have known it looking at the life bars during their match at the 2018 Tekken World Tour Finals. Naroma was ready to take the round, but JDCR had something else planned for him. Everyone has said it, you gotta be on point. But when I asked him about Dragonov or who he was gonna use, he didn't feel really confident with Dragonov. He was thinking really hard, like, who should I use? So it doesn't really surprise me now that he's gone with Heihachi. But big combo coming in from Naroma. Uh oh, here we go. He what? has him in the red. Potential perfect here. Yep. I think he's gonna get it. No, he's not! No, oh, no, but he dropped it there. He definitely wanted extra damage. He went for the Godfist. Unable to get it, but a big demon uppercut in the follow up. Yeah, he's gonna towards the wall as well. Oh, but just short. But man, he can kill him. He has Rage Art, and that's gonna- Oh my god! He got him! Is it dead? He's dead. Is it dead? He's on the other side, and it's that's dead! Never mind. JDCR! Three rounds straight versus the robot! The movement mark! Oh. Is this the old JDCR? Was he lying to me? He Maybe he is playing second. I hope he lied to you. <laughs> 
Coming in at number 7 on our list is one of the greatest comebacks in Call of Duty history. A moment COD fans call the Full Sail Comeback. At the MLG Fall Invitational in 2013, tournament favorites Complexity and fan favorite Optic Gaming faced off in the Grand Finals. With map and match point on the line, it looked as if Nade and the boys were cruising to an easy win to extend the series. But Complexity had other plans in mind. Complexity finally opened up a round with First Blood. First Blood goes to Complexity. I think this is going to be their first round one. I've seen crazier things happen. I don't doubt Scubby could clutch this one on three. I doubt it, but I love your optimism. Let's see if he can do it. Already getting tagged, now getting pinned. Not Complexity, yet, they're not connection. going down without a fight. Shots from above from Aix will answer back, and it's now 2-2. Clayster picks off J-Cap. Things are going bad for Optic, and Nate shot now a one-on-three situation. Man, a great push there from Complexity. Round, but, it's not over. but he is going to be called out. Catch oh. Nate shot in. Oh, in transition. One more player. Can Krim get the one on three? Oh, he's fighting Shot him fired. Oh, oh, Chris Six. Krim. Krim Six with the one on three clutch. Complexity staying alive here on Express Search and Strike. Round after round, they clutched it out. When it was all said and done, Complexity came back from an 0 5 deficit to win the match 6 5. Oh, he sees him. He sees him in the middle of the move. Ace will pick up that kill. It is all up to Nature on a one on three. Optic, they were down. But they were up by five rounds. Chris Six takes that. Oh and there you go. Complexity, come back. Down five rounds. And they are your MLG Fall Invitational Champion. That's right. They won six straight rounds to close out the tournament. Our number six entry is MKLeo's incredible run to become the first ever EVO Smash Ultimate Champion. Leo ran a near perfect loser's bracket gauntlet to make it all the way back to the grand finals. But his opponent, Tweak, had him on the ropes. This man is definitely transcended right now and Charizard's out. Just throw out the flare blades and end this thing. Take all of our souls right now. Oh, run up, pivot, tilt. Game two to Tweak. One more game. But that didn't phase MK Leo one bit. So many air dodges. He has to play so reactive. And yep. there it is again. Leo says, Hail to the king, baby. We're going to game four. This could go either way. Oh, he reads him, but he does not pull the trigger on that board kill. And now this could take him out. <gasps> oh, tweak. Yeah, he is not falling for that falling down air or those Pokemon switches off stage. There is the reset. Leo is just on top of him all over the place and it's so unfortunate for Tweak because this tournament could have been over. Leo won three straight games to reset the bracket and then he did it again. Waiting oh. for the third jab, so smart. He's gonna try to go low. Can he spike it? He mistimes it. He grabs the oh. ledge and with that, MK Leo defeats Tweak to be your 2019 EVO champion. Leo etched his name into history with one of the most incredible comebacks in Smash and claimed the ultimate prize. Coming in at number five is Cloud9's legendary win at the Boston E-League Major. The tournament started off badly. Cloud9 dropped their first two games in the new legend stage, but they rallied, dropping only a single map on their way to the grand finals where they met tournament favorites, FaZe Clan. This is absolute point. The smoke's going away. And now it's Olaf Meister with the sniper. There's Guardian, automatic on his own, running up a short position. I think Olaf Meister's heard him, which means that they can all hold angles. The smoke fake, the flash fake won't work out. Face Clan take the first map of this series. Tarek waits patiently. Oh, ho, ho. that is phenomenal. Cloud Nine make it work. Map two in the bag. With that series tied at one apiece, FaZe pushed Cloud9 to match point on the deciding map. But it was there that the North Americans clawed back, forcing double overtime before making their mark on CSGO history. Nothing else is going on. He's got to go back. Stewie's on his own. But look at the time. Look at the time. There's seven seconds of blood above. They're trying to build pyramids, but there's no more play. Stewie's oh! won the round. We go to overtime. Can make the play just by staying there. He's a threat. Oh my goodness, Scatnoodle does it with automatic. Do you know what that noise means, that? It means it's match point cloud nine. We saw it from this position before. He cannot miss a single shot. Guardian waits patiently as cloud nine sets the push up. Oh, oh, it's happened. They made it work. 
Cloud Nine are your E-League Major Champions! It was a miraculous win in true David versus Goliath fashion. This major victory was one that no one saw coming. In 2018, OG shook the Dota world with a TI championship that defied all odds. And the fairy tale finals that got them there is number four on our list. Let us paint you a picture. OG were down one to two in the series. LGD were on match point. Our heroes had their backs against the wall. We knew we were gonna get tested. We are getting tested. Yes. This is a rough situation to be in, of course, but we're gonna overcome it together, you know? We know we're one game away, it doesn't matter. We're gonna go in, have fun, win the next one, and win the one after. We're getting tested. Embrace it. Yes. And in the deciding game four, LGD looked like they were about to run away with the match in dominant fashion. Thompson being chased by Sumners. They've got the dust down, Thompson as well. Hexnova picked up inside of the snowball. Thompson will fall. They'll find Anna too. Can they get Seb as well? Jarex is there at the side, but he does not have relocate available. There's no save for Seb. And effectively, at the end of the day, a full team wipe there by PSG LGD. But Seb had something else in mind. Look at the cool control onto Abe. Has he got it? Abe getting stood up by the cool snap, but he's able to wait for him. The high Thompson blinks in. He gets the hex up on F5 with the snowball save. They get the match out. Sonus will be able to find the IO, but they're fully low OGD. That's Sonus there for two minutes. They get Thompson. Thompson there for two minutes. It's only Anna. Anna. Can he do it here? Is it half out? He gets the goal of his lifetime. Astonishingly, that single play was enough for OG to tie the series. But the ancient is falling, the hex is down. out, they're going to be able to find themselves challenged, three dead on LGD, OG hitting the ancient, we are going to a game five! And in game five, they completed the most miraculous run in TI history. Number three on our list is one of esports' most iconic plays and comebacks. In the 2016 MLG Columbus Major Semi-Finals, Luminosity were on the edge of defeat with a 15-9 scoreline. But it was there that Cold Zera made an impossible play to kickstart an equally impossible comeback. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure on him. He's got to hit these shots. We saw Fallen in this, in this spot before, the same spot, with, but with much more utility to work with. Here he comes once again. The first base is a trend. He's going to hit the ground there. It's cold. Oh, what? It's jumping double from cold. What is there going on right now? How does he do this? Cold has saved Luminosity with the all play. Unthinkable scenes there on the B apartments. They needed a huge play, but that was something I'm never going to see ever again. Luminosity shut Liquid out after that round to take the map. One versus three. This is for everything. This is for the map right now. Eco making its way around the smoke. It was found that he will spot Taco, but that's it. Luminosity with a comeback from 15-10. An amazing play from Cole with the AWP all the way back into overtime, into a victory. 10 rounds in a row for Luminosity. 59 to 19-15. I have no idea how they managed to pull that off. What's crazy is they did the same on map two with Liquid on match point yet again, this time putting an end to the NA dream. Nico needs a big, big play to save his team in this round. And he's got a guy going towards headshot. It's fur. The spray comes in. The flames are making it difficult. But what can Nico do? He's got FNX jumping through the smoke. And Adren needs a one versus four retake with an AWP. And there it is, Cold is going to take his head off and Luminosity will find themselves in the Grand Finals against Na'Vi! Oh yeah, and the Brazilians also went on to win the Major. Taking the runner-up spot on our list is a game that has become synonymous with the word comeback. That's right, we're talking about CLG EU versus Moscow 5 in the group stage of DreamHack Summer 2012. Despite the early game going CLG EU's way, the mid game was all Moscow 5, who took multiple objectives and found themselves with a gold lead in excess of 20,000. Wow, Moscow 5 really stands to pressure it. I mean, this is what we say so many times. When Moscow 5, they smell that advantage, they absolutely nail you. They will hit you hard and you just won't know what's happened. And the snowball generally comes out. They are one of the strongest snowball teams known to man. 
At this point, the outcome was clear, favoring Moscow 5 in more ways than one. But CLG-EU were unwavering in their patience and waited for the perfect moment to turn the tables. Well, they're going to pressure it back. Darien's taking the hits. Oh. Alexic is finally going to oh. get caught. Alexic has been popped. Straight away, they're gonna go towards Darien. You can see the Paul Bryce coming down as well. The ulti comes out. Darien manages to pick up one kill. The ulti was cancelled. That ulti was not quite run through. Genja is gonna get taken down as well. And CLG absolutely coming out on top of this one. It is gonna be a two for one. Genja's gonna go down. He will get popped. Now Diamond Pro is also gonna go down. The wall goes across. Blocks them off. Beautiful play. Will they split off? They go towards Ghosty Bever. Ghosty Bever gets a double kill there. Shirelli is rubbery popped. That goes Darien. Absolutely destroyed. Genja now he's the target as well. They're gonna dive towards Genja. Then the kick comes out on towards Genja. Headbutt, sorry, pulverized. Alex is now the target. That is wicked picking up another kill. Diamond Pro trying to get away from this one. Yellow Peach just gonna jump on his face any minute now. There we go. The shutdown comes in. The ace comes out from CLG. This is insane. The Nexus story has already gone down. The second Nexus story has come down. And CLG pull off the wow. biggest comeback that we've ever seen. And so CLG EU had overcome seemingly insurmountable odds to beat their biggest rivals, snatching victory for the unlikeliest of results. Topping off our list is arguably the greatest Dota game ever played. It's EG's impossible comeback against Mega Creeps in the TI6 upper bracket semifinals. Now, EG were favorites going into the tournament as defending champions, so it was a shock when they fell so far behind to E-Home in the early stages of Game 1. But Ice 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 making his move forward, he's got that whirling death, one more hit it's to do it! Close. There it is! First blood for Fenrir! Has another poison, it's up the three stacks, but doesn't look like it's gonna be enough. A second kill, going the way of E-Home! I don't think it's gonna go well for uh, here. Oh, he took so oh much! God. That Whirling Death, and now the slowly ticking away, the Shadow Word will finish him off! A third kill for E-Home! As the game wore on, the deficit grew larger, and it seemed like EG were doomed. E-Home pushed into EG's base and got the barracks. All of them. No one had ever come back against Mega Creeps on the TI main stage. But the defending champs were resilient. What are they looking he for? The initiation comes out out of fear. Refresher activated by Old Eleven. Not going to get the chance for a second primal roar. He's going to get blown up inside the chronosphere. He's down and out. Evil Genius is still five up. But here comes Ed on these last bouncing around with the Shadow Demon. Hoping to be able to go on his eye. But an arrow! Oh my god! Samael just nailed the face. And now he's going to run himself away. Universe says he's back. He's going to get a 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 back. Evil Genius is there holding. And he's trying to get PPD, but Evil Genius is cool, calm, and collected. They're holding the defense here again. If they kill the chicken here, he'll be able to get the ice in. No! E Five down! The tier four is being beaten on. It begins the jump four. E Then revives back into tier four. The throw is going down. The throw is down to half HP. E Hulk hits a bad EG's comeback against impossible odds wasn't pretty, but for the North American home crowd and Dota fans everywhere, it was beautiful. All right, well, there you have it. The top 10 greatest comebacks of all time. Now, you may have noticed that Dota came in at number one. If you'd like to see that happen more often, make sure to sub to the channel and let me know in the comments. As the score's resident Dota head, it gives me armor and mana regen. See you next time. Dude, why am I not on this list? I haven't done top 10 in like a month and we shot it like two months ago. This, this right here, this is the greatest comeback in esports history. Where could I be? <laughs>